What's up guys? It's me, Sean Quinn. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Sean Quinn's vlogs. And uh, as you can see, I'm in the car again, starting it off uh, by traveling up to the baseball field to check the status of the field because it was raining earlier. So I just want to uh, come up here and make a check on the field to um, to see if we still have puddles on the infield or if we are going, if we should be good to go in terms of being able to practice on the field because it stopped raining at around 10 and it's almost three o'clock now. So um, I'm gonna take a look at the field get a hold of uh, get a hold of the um, get get a hold of, the, uh, of our other coach and let him know what the status of the field is so even if the city of Long Beach um, even if the city of Long Beach says the fields shouldn't be used but our field looks okay there's no reason why we shouldn't. So, um, yeah. So anyway, gonna be taking a look at the field. So I will catch catch in with you guys later. All right, so here we are at uh, El Dorado Park. Apologies for the wind. It's windy right now. Um, this is our field. There's nothing seriously wrong with this. Like, there's no big puddles. Um, granted, the grass is going to be wet, but other than that, there's no big puddles on the on on the dirt. Um, we don't have grass on the infield, but other than that, it's fine. There's no big puddles. It's just wet, but uh, looks fine, you know. Like I don't I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, this is a usable field. There's like a little patch over there by third base. But other than that, this field looks usable. There's there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm gonna be letting my coach know. And uh, yeah, field's usable, no puddles. All right, I will catch you guys probably at practice. Well, oh well, uh, has it been a minute? Um, we have not spoken since, um, I don't believe we have seen each other since Monday. Um, I haven't really been filming anything, which I know it sucks, but I'm here on Friday now. And what I'm doing right now currently is I just came out of Togo's from getting some lunch for me and my aunt and, uh, she got a tuna sandwich and I got an Italian sandwich. Should be good. Um, yesterday, I got a MacBook Air. So, yeah. Um, I got a, a new laptop, MacBook Air. Perfect. I've been wanting to get a MacBook for a while, just a new laptop in general, and the MacBook was just there, so. Um, other than that, everything else is just perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I'm probably also gonna go out and try and find a uh, little sleeve, I guess they call it. They call them sleeves and not like cases. Um, and find a sleeve for the laptop so that I could put it in, uh, so that I can have it stored instead of just sitting on my, um, my uh, desk thing, or not my desk, but my, my dresser. So, anyway. Um, yeah, 
on my way to go drop it, drop off my aunt's sandwich at her, at her work. She works at H and R Block, so I'm going to drop that off with her, and then go home and eat mine. So catch you guys in a bit. Well, it is Saturday morning, and. I'm very excited. It's early. It's uh, just past eight o'clock, but uh, I'm excited. And uh, for those who follow me on Instagram at Esquin Misfit 3 uh, last night I was uh, I received a call from my guy who does the baseball stuff for the Long Beach City area and uh, everywhere else or not everywhere else but in this general area and um, long story short I've got my two first umpire games this morning <clears throat> uh, I'm doing Seal Beach Pinto um, so these are just little youngins um, but I'm still in full gear and everything. So I've already got my, uh, my undershirt on. Um, and the rest of my stuff is in my trunk. And uh, now I'm just on my way to uh, McGaw Elementary School, which is where they play. And uh, it's going to be cool. They're paying me 45 bucks a game. I'm doing 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock, two different games, four different teams. So, it's not a double header, but it's back-to-back -back games. So, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Can't wait. I will see you guys at McGaw. So, here I am. I am at J.H. McGaw uh, Elementary School. The field is back there, um, and luckily there's an entrance literally right, to, just right next to, um, right next to the field, so that's perfect for me, so I'm going to be getting suited up here in the next few minutes, so I will catch you guys probably after the first game. Well, here I am. <laughs> And my dad on the other side of the fence. And I just got finished with the first game. And yes, I did take off my chest protector because, yeah, I'd stand in there with the chest protector on for two hours. It's kind of kind of hot, so I had to take that off. Next game doesn't start for about another hour, or so in some downtime. But what'd you think? That do good. Good. He has to leave, but I have to stay. So I will catch you guys at the end of the second game. Well, that was fun. About five hours later, and I'm heading home. And honestly, I can't complain. I knew what I was getting myself into with uh, with regards to the um, to the little guys, the Pinto guys. I knew what I was getting myself into. And um, well, hey, it was fun. I'm gonna have a couple marks on me later from uh, getting hit quite a bit, actually. Um, I managed to walk away with only one, uh, one, one hit to the crotch. I walked away with one hit to the crotch. Now when I say that, I mean direct shot. But it wasn't even a direct shot. It went off, it bounced off the plate and then came up on me. But, it was still good, still fun, because you got these little kids 
who are having the time of their lives out here. And I got to enjoy it too, you know. I got to enjoy uh, helping them out. So, for right now, I'm heading home. I'm gonna relax a bit. I probably, no, I don't probably, I do need to go out and find a new pair of socks. Because uh, if you guys could see my legs right now, you would understand that my legs hurt from about the middle of my calf down where the socks were at. And uh, yeah, it hurt and it's probably going to hurt for a while. So for right now, going home, I will catch you guys probably on my way to work. See you then. Uh, Yeah, I'm a bit sunburnt. <laughs> Maybe next time. Next time I should probably put on some. Uh, um, should probably put on some sunscreen before I uh, take on the field. Uh, anyway, uh, just sitting out here waiting for a few more minutes before I can go in and clock in for work. Um, my arms are like really red, so I have an undershirt on, so it's not noticeable. Kind of see it on my wrist. Um, my face too. Yeah, well, like I said, next time I'll wear some sunscreen. Uh, so I will catch you guys after my shift. Here at Target, gonna see if I can get uh, a new backpack because I might as well just make it public now. Uh, I am going back to school, which is why I have that, which is why I got my MacBook. Um, so, uh, our first day back is, uh, this coming Wednesday. So that's going to be in next week's vlog, going back to school. Um, so I'm here to see if I can find a new backpack and a lap and a laptop sleeve. Like I was talking about when I got the MacBook. So hopefully I can find something. If not, I'll look around. So I will see you either inside or when I get out. Well, as Sweet Home Alabama plays in the background, I am leaving Target. I got my backpack. It's real nice. It's uh, <clears throat> It's from Jansport, which is a well-known backpack company. A lot of a lot of my friends have Jansport backpacks. Um, it's got a Galaxy theme on the front of it. Uh, unfortunately, Target did not have a sleeve, as they're called. Target does not have laptop sleeves, um, which is fine because I know some place that for sure will have one and that for sure place would be Staples because Staples is Staples has all your electronic needs so if Staples doesn't even have one then that's surprising so I am going to go to Staples I know of two of them in this area one being um, over on PCH. The other is in Seal Beach in the Rossmore Shopping Mall. So, if the PCH Staples doesn't have one, then I will go to the Seal Beach Rossmore Shopping Mall. So, Let's go to Staples. Well, guys, I was successful in getting <clears throat> my laptop sleeve. So here we go, right here. Nothing to it, just a black sleeve, because it's just 
it's not like it's going to stay out of my bag. I'm just going to pull it out, pull out my laptop, put it right back into my bag. So no need to have anything fancy. And then there's the backpack, that Galaxy stuff on the front. So that's going to do it for the vlog today. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, got a new, um, a new gaming video coming out um, probably tomorrow. Uh, finally getting back to some MLB The Show 20. Um, since the uh, start of the MLB season is coming up pretty soon. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>